Um, so here's a theorem from um, Archimedes Liber Asim. Asim Thorum. The Archimedes didn't write in Latin, he wrote in Greek. Um, but Liber Asim Thorum survived as an Arabic um, text and was converted into Latin. Um, but this was um, part of uh, the proof that Archimedes' method of trisecting an angle uh, worked. Uh, now, of course, you can't trisect an angle using uh, rule of compass and so forth. Um, but you can if you're allowed to slide things around. Um, this is what the Greeks call the neusis. Um, and we'll go in the opposite direction and prove um, that what Archimedes uh, did uh, tripled an angle um, that avoids the neusis. It gives you a, a essentially a lower on compass uh, construction in the opposite direction. But here's here's the diagram he 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 did. Uh, created a circle um, and a line will make that become a diameter of the circle by constraining point A, the center of the circle, and to lie on the line using the incidence constraint. And now the the initial angle theta, now let's pull B down, down a little bit. Um, this initial angle is the one we're going to uh, multiply by three. Uh, so in our direction, we'll be creating an angle which is three times that. Uh, in our community's direction, he was, would go the opposite, the opposite way. Um, and so in the in Archimedes construction, he makes uh, this radius the same as this length. And uh, we can do that using um, congruence constraint. And um, he now has a, another point on the circle, but also lying on this um, line here. So we can do that again using the incidence constraint. And then the angle that um, Archimedes is interested in, the, the, where he, uh, is, is, which is going to be the triple of the angle BCD. And let's show that using um, GX web. Uh, so we're going to ask for the angle of EAD. Uh, three theta, which is what was required. Now, if we were going to prove that um, ourselves by by hand, how would we do it? We'd, well, we would probably build up our knowledge of angles um, in this diagram, starting with the one we know. So um, we can follow this this logic through uh, with GX web quite quite handily. Uh, let's do the angle uh, ABC. Okay, pi minus two theta. Uh, this is a isosceles triangle, so this one's going to be theta. Pi minus two theta. So then, what does that tell us about the angle EBA? Oh, I mean two theta because it's pi minus this one. Um, so what does that tell us about the angle BEA? Oh, it's also two theta because um, this is, of course, an isosceles triangle two, um, uh, as it's in a circle. Uh, both of these are circle radiuses. So that, what does that tell us about the angle EAB? Right, pi minus four theta. And then as... Um, uh, then we can see that the angle EAC by minus three theta, so that EAD is, as we saw at first, um, three theta 